Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Today I want to focus less on a particular play or issue in the Raiders game that caused the Steelers to lose that one. just want to talk about more of an overall point because I, I've seen this from a couple different places and I promise I'm not picking on or, or singling out any one individual. I've seen it from national media, I've seen it from new media, um, different places, but I think there's one thing we all have to try to understand about quarterback play. And listen, I'm no expert at it. And I've had to, to, to learn this over time as well. I don't mean to harp on this point for too long. So I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short. But I, I want to talk about the progression system and the idea of the quarterbacks don't always have the freedom to throw wherever people think they should throw. And that it's a lot easier to, to talk about those th these things in hindsight than it is in real time. So I, I want to show you guys an example of that today and just kind of talk through this play and a progression and, and kind of go from there. So we're looking at the Raiders game from Sunday week two. On this play, Ben Roethlisberger is going to roll out and boot to the right and hit Juju in the right flat coming across here left to right. And I've seen some people saying, again, this is not just one person. It's multiple, pe multiple people saying that, you know, why did Ben miss? He should have hit Deontay Johnson coming on this over route over the middle of the field. And if you kind of watch it back and, you know, you freeze frame and slow things down, it does look like the Johnson is going to get open for a potentially bigger play. Juju gets tackled for a very short gain on this play. But here's the thing. On this boot, and, and for any pass play, there's a progression. There's a first read, a primary read, a second read, a check down option, etc. And if your first read is open, you hit your first read. You don't go searching for, is anyone else more open? Is there a bigger play available? And so on a boot like this, if the guy in the flat is open, you throw it to him because it's a boot. You know, you're not protected. The ball is designed to go in the flat. That's the first read on this play. It's going to be the flat player, whoever that may be, the back, the tight end, in this case, the receiver. And so you hit him and you don't go searching for, is my second option open? Is my third option open? And things like that. And so I know on this play, Juju didn't get very far, but he is out leveraging number 39 here. And the only way that you don't make that throw is if there's outside leverage, that's not going to make that throw even possible. And listen, Juju has done really well in space this season. He's beaten DBs one-on-one, -on -one, break breaking tackles and things like that. So that's a matchup you want to try to give him to win. So in, if you watch it from the end zone angle as well, Yes, Johnson is coming across and open, but he's got to wait for him to, to get in that window. And plus, you got pressure in your face because it's a boot. So you're faking the run. You're not going to be protected. You got two Raiders in your face here. And so um, the first read on these boots is always going to be the flat. And if it's open, you throw it. And you don't think about what else could or may be open and things like that. And so Juju was have had leverage on the DB here. He's got space. And, you know, Ben is correct to make that throw. I will show an example of when you should go to your second read um, on this progression, on this kind of boot to the right. This comes in week one against the Buffalo Bills. A little different setup here. It's at a shotgun. Um, there's no play action there, but it's still a boot to the right with the intention in the first read being Juju in the flat. But on this play, you see the corner come down and have outside leverage here. So he's playing the flat. He's playing underneath the left cornerback here. And so Ben cannot make this throw because this corner, this defender has outside leverage on the flat. And so then, yes, you go to your second read. So in this case, it's Deontay Johnson um, running this um, out route to the sideline and it's Claypool um, coming across the middle as well. So that's an example of the progression system. The first read's always going to be the flat on the boot. If it's, if it's not there, then you're reading um, to a second level read. So it's a low, high read. You're reading low to the flat and then there's something downfield. Now on this play, I think Ben was late with this throw. It was not a well-thrown ball. It could have been picked. So this is not a good execution obviously of the play but i'm just talking about progressions um it's always going to be reading the flat and then you're going to read deeper down the field to second level options um on this play that's just how most boots work and how it works in pittsburgh at least a low high read and and so that's what's happening on this play so i just want to illustrate that that yes it's easy to and listen we all armchair this whole channel is about me armchairing things and talking about what could have happened and what should have happened and things like that i get that and I, i'm not pretending like I get everything 100% right, and I've had to learn this over time myself. But the idea of, oh, just throw it to the open guy isn't how quarterback play works. There's, there's a structure to it. There's a progression to it. There's a read to it. And uh, on, on that play against the Raiders we showed at the beginning, um, Ben made the correct read. So that's not a, a knock on him. Um, and that just progression football and playing within a structure in the NFL. So I want to talk about that today, just kind of something to keep in mind. Um, whenever we talk about why didn't something happen, I always ask myself, you know, what am I missing? What am I not considering? Um, what is the structure and the the plan of the play? So just wanted to kind of talk about that today, kind of a good opportunity to discuss that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.